Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Scorpios, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we see the Eight of Wands and we see the High Priestess. Okay, so you may be dealing with a psychic and intuitive, somebody who's very empathic. Um, this person may also be manifesting you. We get strong Cancer Pisces energy. What they like about you is the Ten of Pentacles. So this person sees marriage commitment or building some sort of legacy together. And what else you need to know? The Page of Wands. So Spirit may be telling you, hey, go for it, right? We see the King of Swords. They could be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. Some of you may meet this person through work or through school. Um, the Eight of Wands is telling me that, that when this person meets you, they're not going to want to let you go. This person may also work with Law of Attraction, Scorpio, or they might tell you, wow, you're everything that I wrote down in my, you know, on my vision board or, you know, wrote down in my journal as far as like the person I want to be with. I do feel this person is definitely manifesting you or trying to manifest somebody just like you. All right, I love this. I do feel that this person is a bit of a free spirit. They could be theatrical in some way. Maybe they're just very animated, um, but in other ways too, it could be that they're just, um, yeah, like maybe they like theater or they do theater or they did theater, but they, I just feel like they're just really kind of animated. I also feel this person's quite free spirited and unique in the way that they dress. All right, Scorpio, this person is definitely very romantic. They have, they're going to, they have very, very strong romantic feelings for you. I feel like right off the bat. And <clears throat> this person is definitely a manifester. This person is also very charismatic, very good looking. I feel like they might have a lot of people that are interested in them. And, you know, we get uh, Aries Scorpio energy. So there may be something in the Aries reading, um, but let's, um, Aries reading for you, but let's keep going. Let's see. This person may be of another um, different background from you, different race, religion, tradition is what I'm getting, but I feel like it's just going to work um, regardless. I just feel like you two are very different, but you're also just very well made for each other. Um, I feel like this person is spiritually ascended. They've done their, you know, done a lot of spiritual work. I feel like you're going to really connect on that level, Scorpio. All right. <clears throat> this person's going to be very funny, very charismatic. I feel like this is somebody that when they walk in the room, everybody knows. Again, they've got some sort of flair, a joy de vivre or a flair for the dramatic, but like it feels positive and optimistic and like really fun. So they've got this lighthearted energy, but I feel like when they come into a room, the room sparkles, right? I know that sounds a little cheese, but you know what? That's what I'm getting. And they're going to be very funny. This person might also have like a very distinct laugh or voice is what I'm hearing. This is somebody who's deeply committed. All right. This is somebody who's going to be your ride or die. Okay. They can be counted on to have your back. And they could have Sagittarius in their chart or Leo. So there's definitely this fiery energy coming through. They could be a teacher. They're definitely a knowledge seeker, somebody who's always learning, maybe somebody who loves to travel. They're comfortable leading others. They're comfortable being in the spotlight. For some of you, they really are in the spotlight quite often is what I'm getting just because of their personality, because of their charisma. Um, they like attention, but they're strong. They're playful. They're resilient. You know, I love this person's energy. I feel like you know, Scorpio, it's going to be, uh, you know, it's a really fun relationship. You know, I feel like this person's really playful. Um, the high priestess energy tells me that they are intuitive. Um, they've got a very dreamy energy about them. And they only have eyes for you. All right, some of you, they're ginger, but I am reading for a lot of you. 
Okay, so again, physical attributes are definitely not gonna resonate with all of you. And this person may be a writer. I am getting that they're creative, you know, um, and again, maybe they write, you know, th write plays and things like that. Um, they may have an unusual name, okay. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Scorpios. What else do they need to know about this person at this time? All right, they have an imperfection in their speech. Again, they may speak more than one language is what I'm getting, or if the language you communicate in might not be their, their native language. At least one third of their body is covered in tattoos, so this person may be tattooed. And they may be a bit sarcastic or have a dry sense of humor. And Spirit's saying they may also have dark hair. Again, physical attributes are not going to be for each and every one of you. And that's why we get ginger and we get dark hair coming out. All right, what else do we need to know about this person for my Scorpios? They're going to be laid back, relaxed, easygoing. All right, so we also get, they probably have strong earth in their chart, uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but they definitely also have that very fiery, creative energy. Yep, and we see Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, so earth and air, and they may have a career in social media as an entrepreneur. Um, they could have a side hustle, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. They could be a graphic designer or a computer tech. All right, so again... Let's see what they like about you. All right, Scorpio, 10 of Pentacles. They feel like you're gonna, even if you're very different from them or different from their family members, um, they're going to feel like you're gonna fit right in, like their friends and family are gonna like you a lot. Um, they also see building some sort of legacy with you. They're gonna see marriage and commitment. All right, and the Hermit card, Virgo energy is coming through pretty strong. They like that you're not afraid to be on your own or independent, that you're, you know, that you're a thinker, that you're a planner, that you're an organizer. And you do kind of hold back a little bit, okay? But they like that, you know, because this person's really out there, so it's like they feel like you really balance them. And the four, yeah, you have some sort of very healing energy about you. They like that you're relaxed as well, all right? Or that you kind of hold back. They definitely see you two being a power couple with the Wheel of Fortune. Also, this is a destined connection, okay? Or they're going to be feeling that way. But I think this person also feels like they can be themselves with you. They can be relaxed, okay? They can, um, like, they don't have to worry. All right, so let's see. What else do we need to know here? Clear messages and guidance. Okay, so they love the fact that you've done some traveling or you want to do traveling or that you're always, you have a thirst for wisdom and truth wherever you are. All right, I love that. All right, Scorpios. And this person definitely sees you as, you know, somebody who's very creative. Um, and this father energy, it's masculine energy, but remember, it's not about, you know, sex or gender. Um, it's like you have a talent for creating and supporting life and that you're a positive guiding light within a tribal unit. So again, maybe at work or within your family or your group of friends. And we also see this energy of Samaritan that they think or they feel like you're a really good person. All right. So I'm, I'm loving that for you because this person definitely that's why they're seeing this 10 of pentacles energy with you and and this person's going to be pretty sure that you know you would make a good parent or you know you can blend families all right let's see and again if that's not on the agenda or that's not a possibility or that's something that's you know you don't want um, I feel like it's just they see you as, you know, as a counterpart. They see you as someone that they want to create and build and grow with. Some of you, you may end up having a business together. Okay. So Spirit's telling you to take a, a risk, a leap of faith, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. All right. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. I do feel that this is going to be such a powerful connection, and it might be a little bit in the spotlight within your family, within your group of friends, maybe even on some sort of bigger scale. I do think you're going to have exes coming out of the woodwork, Scorpio. People that do regret, you know, maybe letting you go or, you know, maybe feeling a little bit jealous when you and this person get together. 
Okay, we do see twin flame energy, so it's a very powerful connection, whether you want to label it twin flame or soulmate, whatever the label you give it, you two have an amazing mutual chemistry, and you definitely have some sort of destiny together. It's a very, very powerful soul tie and connection. All right, so let's see what else you need to know. What else do you need to know here? This is your lasting love. This is your true love here, Scorpio. Wow. All right. It's going to be a very physical connection. You're going to be perfectly physically matched is what I'm getting. All right. And forever young, a song of youthful playfulness. So you're going to feel like a teenager again here, or it's just going to make you feel young. It's going to make you feel alive. Again, there's a real strong playful energy. I got it really strong off of that page of wands, the play hard card. All right, and we do see soulmate. So you have found your romantic counterpart, Scorpio. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. Ooh, you know what I forgot to do is give you some important dates regarding this connection. Any important dates for this connection, please? Any important dates? Allow the process and in the coming years. So I do see that this is going to be a connection that's going to be, that's going to last a long time. I'll allow it to unfold naturally. So it is happening in divine timing, Scorpio. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.